up for a new motherboard, CPU, and DDR5 memory, you opt for the Zen 4 CPU. So is the Ryzen 9 7950X with it? Or is the 5950X still a better choice? We're going to examine both CPU and determine which one is objectively better based on the information we already have on the 7950X. Zen 4 Performance Zen 4 Ryzen 7000 series CPU were unveiled scoring huge points and ultra-fast frame rates in both synthetic and real-world benchmarks. The event focused primarily on the Ryzen 9 7950X and its huge lead over the competitions in an E12900K. But snippets of the other three processors were sprinkled into the mix. Not only is the Ryzen 9 7950X up to 62% faster than the 12900K, but it also delivers all this performance at much better power efficiency. The 7950X has been rated as 47% more power efficient than the core in an E12900K, packing some serious performance into a relatively low TDP for these performance metrics. Zen 3 was amazing, a true feat of engineering, and Zen 4 is here to blow it clean out of the water. Thread count. Threads are similar to cores, but not the same. Threads are the names given to the second simultaneous instruction process by the CPU core. When a CPU is multi-threaded, each CPU is given the ability to process two instructions at the same time per CPU core as opposed to one. CPU with more cores will have more threads as long as each core is multi-threaded and be better at multitasking as a result. Cores and threads attribute to better multi-core performance, whereas metrics like clock speeds lend their hand to single core performance. TDP. The Ryzen 9 5950X has a lower T. TDP stands for thermal design power, and it is the maximum amount of thermal energy a processor can output under normal operating conditions. Generally, a CPU with a lower TDP is better because it's more power efficient, but this isn't always the case. However, in this case, the 7950X has a higher TDP because it's much faster than the 5950X, so it consumes more energy. 170W for a CPU that promises a performance uplift of around 35%. 40% over the same CPU of the previous generation is, it's only an increase of 65W. Socket. Both of our CPU today belong to different motherboard sockets. The newer Ryzen 9 7950X belongs to socket M5. CPU sockets can be thought of as jigsaw pieces. Only a CPU and a motherboard with the same CPU socket type are compatible. You have to take into account the upgrades needed to make the 7950X compatible with your system. You'll have to purchase a new motherboard and DDR5 memory. This is a disadvantage of sorts on the part of the 7950X, but it doesn't take away from how phenomenal the CPU is shaping up to be. IGP The Ryzen 9 7950X comes equipped with an iGPU, whereas the 5950X does not. All of the Ryzen 7000 series CPU come equipped with an RDNA 2-based i. This mainly helps the cost of building a whole new system by negating the need to buy a GPU for the system to work. Or you could just forget the GPU altogether. We don't know exactly how well the RDNA 2-based i GPU will run just yet. But if the 5000 series APU are anything to go off, we're going to be impressed. AMD is famous for its fantastic APU, so we expect great things from the RDNA 2 series i GPU in the Ryzen 7000 Overview. Although the Ryzen 9 5950X isn't out yet, we have to give it a victory over the 5950X. From a performance standpoint, this thing is a beast on paper. With its massive cache, high base clock speeds, boost speeds, and power-hungry TDP, we know it's going to make one heck of a CPU. The 7950X may even take the cake as the best gaming CPU when it comes to light and sound. The Ryzen 9 7950X isn't going to be cheap. However, as the latest predictions give it an $800 or so price tag, plus the upgrading you have to do to make it compatible with your system, this CPU is not for the faint of heart or the budget gamer. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos.